Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a local transform within microsurveys Field Genius. So what I did before the video began was I brought in a bunch of points that I just set up on local coordinates, like a thousand, a thousand, a thousand kind of thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring my rover now into that coordinate system. So what I'm gonna to do to begin here is, is right above where it says RTK fixed, I'm gonna click on the standard measure there and I'm going to choose a local transformation point from the menu. And it's gonna bring me back to my map screen. And if you look to the right now, my RTK fix symbol has changed to the local transform symbol. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to zoom out here and you can see that my rover's way off, like over 20,000 meters away from where I want to be. And I need to bring that rover into the correct coordinate system here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom back in on my points that I had brought into the job earlier here. And you can see here we are, and I'm back to where I was. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the RTK fix button and take a GNSS measurement here. So I'm just gonna take an average of five points. I'm then prompted to save this position to the database. In this case, I'm going to hit no, I do not need to save it. And you can see here, I now have my transformation control menu here. So you can see I got options like my control calculation and local control and that kind of thing. And if I scroll down here, you can see that there is the GNSS control and this is the measured point. So in the field, this would be the point over which my known coordinates are. So I've already measured this point before I brought it in here and I'm gonna scroll back up here and I'm gonna choose from my existing points the point that I am leveled up over. In this case, I'm going to say I was leveled up over point three here. So I'm just gonna go select existing and I'm gonna choose point three. And then in the bottom left corner, I'm going to hit select in order to lock in this selection here. And you can see now that my local control is filled out with the information from that point. And again, there's my GNSS measurement. And if I scroll all the way up to the top here, you can see that I have my control calculation. And in this case, I'm gonna apply both my horizontal and vertical control. If I'm doing multiple points, you're gonna to wanna to be careful in holding all those points in the vertical because you can end up with an inclined plane or something like that. So please do be aware of that. But in this case, since this is my first point here, I'm gonna leave them both checked off. And then I'm going to go to the bottom left corner here and hit okay. And you can see now in my transformation control menu that I have point ID three and that I'm using that as my control point. And in this menu here, let's say you have some more control points, uh, maybe two or three more control points, you can hit add control and you can just add more points um, in the way that I have already showed here. But in this case, I'm only gonna use this one point for my transformation and I'm going to hit okay in the bottom left corner there. And now you can see that the arrow indicating my live position has been brought into this coordinate system and I'm moving around. Since this is just a simulator, I'm obviously not leveled up over point three, but the idea still stands. I am now in my proper coordinate system and I'm ready to begin surveying. And that's everything for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or you have any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.